The video you're about to watch is a video I made based on a blog post written by Jetai Knight. I'll link the blog post below. A lot of people have been wondering how it's possible for BitConnect to make money, as well as to make money for its users, as well as to afford to pay 7% to its affiliate partners. I hope to explain that in this video. So jumping right into it, let's get to the example. Let's assume that BitConnect has a total of 9 people using their platform. 8 of these people have $100 loans, so that brings the loan pool to $800. One person has a $200 loan. This brings the total loan pool amount to $1,000. Now let's assume that the BitConnect trading bot makes $10 profit a day trading with the $1,000 in the loan pool. BitConnect states on their website that whatever the return is, they will keep 20% of the profits made daily and distribute the other 80% to customers who pool their money. I guess you could say this is their way of saying thank you for lending us the money to trade with. Right, so back to the example. In this example, BitConnect takes $2 from the $10, which is 20%, and that leaves $8. In order to provide an even percentage on the $8 across the pool of loaners, BitConnect issues an interest reward on that day, for example, of 0.8%. Remember, 8 people who issued $100 loans are now paid $0.80, cents, and the person that issued a $200 loan is paid $1.60. So let's get down and do the math real quick. So now it's safe to assume that the 8 people that issued $100 loans each receive $0.80, cents, bringing the total to $6.40. Add to that the $1.60 from the person who loaned $200 and you have $8 distributed evenly across the pool of loaners. So in this example, BitConnect makes money, the users make money, and everyone is happy. So now we've done the breakdown with 9 customers pooling $1,000. Well imagine if BitConnect put in $1,000 of their own money. So now in this example, the trading bot goes out and makes $20 on the $2,000 used to trade. $10 of the 20 is BitConnects to keep. Remember, they keep 100% of the money generated from their $1,000 investment. And in this example, BitConnect also receives 20% of the other $10 generated from the customer loan pool. So BitConnect has made $12 on this day. While the customer who put in the most money, remember that guy who put in the $200 loan? He made just $1.60. So everyone is still happy. Customers are making almost 1% return daily on average, and BitConnect is making money hand over fist, and can also afford to pay off individuals who are going out and referring people. Let's get to that now. So BitConnect keep 100% of their own money that they put into the loan pool, and they receive a further 20% of what customers generate through their loans. So can BitConnect really afford to pay their affiliates 7%? Well, let's look at another quick example. In this example, a $100 loan means BitConnect pays out $7 to the person who referred the individual. We must understand that BitConnect will now receive a profit of 20% from whatever that $100 loan generates before the customer is even issued an interest kickback. So in the long run, it makes total sense for BitConnect to pay the $7 to the person who made the referral because BitConnect are going to make multiple times that over the 299 day period in which their user's $100 loan is locked up. Right, so let's do the math again. If the trading bot generated $10 off the $1,000, then it's safe to say that it could generate $1 off $100. So BitConnect keeps 20% of that, which is 20 cents, and issues the rest in the form of an interest payment to the newly referred customer, which is 80 cents. Do this for 299 days and BitConnect has made $59.80 off their new customer at the end of the holding period. Subtract $7 from that amount given that this was the cost BitConnect had to pay their affiliate and BitConnect has made a total of $52.80 simply for paying $7 to a customer that brought in the referral. And as for the customer that made the $100 loan, they get $239.20 at the end of the holding period and they receive their $100 that was pooled. So given this scenario, this is how BitConnect can possibly make money, while at the same time having the capital to pay off individuals who generated referrals. And remember, this also does not take into account the money that BitConnect makes on their BTC to BCC exchange, nor does it take into consideration the amount of money that BitConnect has made through the value of their coin. In January of this year, 2017, the value of a BCC was 16 cents, and at the time of making this video, the value of a BCC was $66.23. That's a gain of almost 400 times plus. So what on earth are you still watching this video for? Sign up.